Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a dewy skin look, dewy slash glowy, luminous, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to be doing a talk through tutorial because I want to explain what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. I think it'll just be easier than a voiceover. So, you want to make sure you start off with clean skin. This will work best once your skin is completely clean. It will work even better if you've exfoliated either today or the day before. And what I use is the Murad Skin Smoothing Polish. I just It's like a nice basic moisture, or not moisturizer, exfoliator. But whatever exfoliator you have, even some sugar, will work just fine. I use the Purity One Step Facial Cleanser and this is just going to help remove any excess oil, dirt, any leftover makeup that you have. So I use this in the morning, at night, um, but this is what I just used right before this video. Then you want to tone your face. You can take a cotton pad. I just take a paper towel, um, which normally paper towels are harsh on your face, but I'm, since I'm wetting it, it'll be a little bit smoother. But use whatever you have. You can even use toilet paper, tissue, whatever you want. I'm using the Mario Badescu Aloe Vera Toner, just so it soothes the skin. Let that dry, and then for all skin types, you want to use a moisturizer. It'll just kind of, it'll give the makeup um, a slick, and it'll be easier to apply the makeup onto your face. It'll just look better and fresher on the skin if you use a moisturizer before. So, I'm using the Eucerin Anti Wrinkle Sensitive Skin Lotion SPF 15. It's just a basic moisturizer. Use whatever you have at home. And then this is an extra step. Um, you don't have to do this, but I like to take some coconut oil and just put it right just a little bit. Just a little bit. You can use an eye cream, but if you have coconut oil, you can use that. So now I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Hydrating Foundation Primer. Um, the Hangover RX Primer is good. So I'm going to put this on the perimeter, of, like the majority of my face, just on the outer thing. I'm going to even put it around like the dry area of my nose right around here. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. This is going to kind of fill in my pores, lines, any like areas that I have imperfections. My smile lines, I just kind of smooth it over. And then I have like a little dot right here from an acne scar and I'm just going to smooth this over as well. That's that for primers. Now for foundation. You can use any foundation you want. You might have a foundation that you love, so use that. This is just what I'm using. This is what I have, this is what I'm going to use. So, by the way, I have normal combination skin. I get oily in the T-zone, obviously, but not intensely oily. I'm going to be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. I have number one creamy vanilla. I do not match this shade. Now, this line of foundations doesn't have... Too many shades. I'm not sure how many shades there are, but this is the lightest shade. Number one, creamy vanilla, and it's too dark for me, and I'm pretty pale. It's hard to find a foundation color that's perfect for me because I have very fair, pale skin, but it's olive yellow. So usually fair, kind of light foundations tend to be more pink, and they just don't match me. So I mix this color with the Ben Nye Cream Foundation in... SHK Zero Shinsei Ivory. Very light, pale, olive yellow color. Um, this would probably match me perfectly if I just used this. is like my perfect shade. But I like to mix it with the Milani foundation because I like the Milani foundation. I like the formula. It's very pigmented, so if you don't like a heavy foundation, don't use it. I even kind of want to use this one. I'm actually going to be using this today. And I was going to use this, but it's a little bit thick. So, um, I'm just going to take this Ben Nye foundation, I'm not going to get a concealer brush, I'm just taking it, I'm just going to put this in the, in just like random areas, I'm putting it in like highlighting areas, just where my face is lighter in some areas. I'm going to take this one, because I do really like this formula, and it's nice and liquidy, so I want it to lay thinly on the skin, so I'm going to put some on the back of my hand. It's a little too pink for me. But we'll see how this goes. I'm going to put a tiny bit of this. Just get the tad. Just like that. And this is the Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Moonlight. And this is already pink tone. That's why I don't like to use a pink tone foundation mixed in with this. We'll see what happens today. I'm going to mix five drops. Mix it all together. I'm going to apply this with a damp beauty sponge. This is the Real Techniques one. I cleaned it as much as I could with my Purity Face Wash. I like using the Dr. Bronner's 
soap, but I'm out right now, so whatever. Um, I'm just gonna apply this with my brush because I don't want to use my fingers. I, don't, I just don't feel like it right now, so. I know it looks like I'm putting a lot on. I'm just making a lot of swipes. I didn't put, like, a heavy, thick swipe of the bed and I on my face. I just put a lot of the swipes on. Make sure it's damp and then squeeze out the excess water and then squeeze it in a towel or a paper towel. So I'm just gonna... Okay, so I have the layer of foundation on. I'm just going to take another side of the beauty blender, any clean side. I'm just going to pat over the foundation so that it picks up any excess product. If you need to go back in and conceal, if, if picking up the excess product kind of took away any coverage for your foundation, you can go back in and conceal wherever you need to. This is the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. I take the sponge applicator off. That's probably more sanitary, but it does get you more product. So, I'm using the neutralizer shade. Okay, so it comes out immediately. I'm taking that brush again. This is a BH Cosmetics brush. It's the 102, it says. And you can correct your under eye. Honestly, I should. So I'm just gonna use the Maybelline little palette. I'm gonna use the corrector shade. I'm just gonna sweep that right along my dark bag. I'm just going to take my damp beauty blender and blend this out. I'm going to use the Ben Nye Fair translucent powder. Get whatever translucent powder you have. I still have yet to order the RCMA no color powder, but I'm just using what I have for now. I'm going to mix this and a tiny amount of the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. I mixed the powder. I'm going to take it on my beauty blender and just set it under my eyes. And then even sometimes I'll do this where I'm just, I'm setting it, but I'm not baking. Forehead, just a little bit down my nose. I'm going to use Max Mineralize Skin Finish in Light Plus because I do really like this powder. It has kind of a luminous finish. Not a luminous, but like a, a slight natural sheen. It's just a very natural powder, so. I'm just going to take barely any. I have barely any in the pan, so that's even more helpful and you guys know that I won't be getting that much. I literally barely take any. And I'm just going to set the rest of my face with this. We're going to move on to brows. What I'm going to do actually for this tutorial, I'm going to use a different technique for this tutorial for my eyebrows. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. eyebrow gel. Just any eyebrow gel will work. I personally like this one better than the Sonia Kashuk one. I got both when I went to Target to test out both and I personally so far like the e.l.f. one better just because it holds in place better. Alright, so I'm taking the Studio Care Blend Pressed Powder in Dark by MAC and I'm taking a little bit on my e.l.f. small tapered brush. What I do if I want just like um, more structured kind of model-esque cheekbones. I take my Wet n Wild contour uh, duo palette thing in Dulce de Leche and I just take it on the tip of the brush and I just go right in the hollow. I'll even kind of wipe some off because I don't want it to be too harsh. But just in the hollow down here. Then I'm just going to contour my nose a little bit. I just kind of put some at the tip of the brush. Today I want like a little bit of a flush. So I'm going to mix Spring Sheen from MAC and the Edward Best Threads of Silk Multi-Use Powder in Bellissima. It's just like when you mix all these together, it makes like a very, very faint, light peach sheen. Alright, so I'm taking, um, any stipple brush will work, I'm, this is the Sonia Kashuk one, and I'm taking Wet n Wild's Color Icon Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. I'm dusting most of the excess off, and then I'm just gonna, very lightly, I don't know if you can see, I'm barely touching my face. I just really lightly go over my entire face with this, so I just dip it in the product, tap the excess off, and just go over my entire face. Mainly in the high points, I start in the high points and then um, whatever is left on the brush, I bring it everywhere else. I'm 
So I like using MAC's eyeshadow in nylon. It's this one right here. I like mixing that usually with the Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion. But I think I want to use today the Carly Bybel palette. This one right here. This is what I want to use. Um, a dupe for nylon is this color right here. The ColourPop one. I don't know what it's called. It's called High Tide. I'm going to mix that second highlight shade and nylon. Highlight my cheekbones. And you can highlight it very gently like this. Or you can go like ham and make it super, super, super shiny. And then I'm actually going to take some Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion just because I like the gold in it. And then I always highlight my um, brow bone when I'm highlighting my cheekbone. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take, um, I usually use two colors. I use ebony and dark brown. And these are the Anastasia brow powder duos. And usually I just use, I use both of these shades and then just the darker shade in ebony. Alright guys, we're almost done. So the next thing I'm going to do is take uh, your favorite brown, just like a light neutral or warm brown. I'm going to mix soft brown and saddle and maybe a little bit of Makeup Geek's latte. Soft brown and saddle are both from MAC. I'm actually not going to mix latte. I'm just throwing this in the crease. Really simple, really easy. Nothing too hard. We're just gonna define the eye super naturally. I'm taking Saddle and Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek because my other ones fell. But that's okay. I like this combo. I'm going to take that highlighting shade from the Carly by Belle palette and just with my brush, same brush, Swooping this over the lid. Just for a little bit of sheen. A little inner corner. Brow bone. For me personally, I like to define my eye just a tad more. So I'm going to take... Let me pick it up. Max Swiss Chocolate. It's just um, a pinky dark brown on a pencil brush and just run this along my lash line. I like a little extra definition for the way my eyes are shaped. And then one more thing, I'm just going to add some Givenchy Waterproof Eyeliner in number two, and I'm going to line my tight line. I love this eyeliner because it's very, very smooth and creamy and smudgeable, but once it's set, it's very hard to take off, like with water. It's easy to take off with makeup remover and stuff. You don't have to do this, but I decided to put some Coco Lashes in Soho on my eyes. These are a little long, but use whatever wispy lashes that you have in case you want to use eyelashes. And if you wanted to know what mascara I'm using, I'm using the Maybelline Illegal Length Fiber Extensions Mascara in Waterproof. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the Clinique Quick Liner for Lips in number 2 Intense Cafe. I like to line my lips regardless of what lip product I'm using just because I like to reshape my lips in the way that I like it. I overline my lip, my top lip, a lot. And then I'm just going to try this out. I'm going to take Milani's Nude Cream. I don't know how it's going to look. We'll see. I'm going to blot this and then figure out what else I want to use. I'm blotting it, and this is going to help the color stay in your lips and not move as much. I'm also just making the layers a little bit less thick so that I can keep layering. I'm going to add Abu Dhabi just because this is my favorite color. 
Now I'd probably wear it like this, but I do want a little bit of a sheen, maybe a little bit more nude as well. So my favorite go-to that I use in a lot of my videos is the Rimmel's First Class Nude. It's a very creamy, sheen, glossy lipstick, and it's a nude, so I just kind of top my lips with this. Alright guys, this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I personally was going to use the Milani foundation because that lasts through so much from what I've noticed. It lasts through everything, especially on Valentine's Day. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's very natural, dewy. If you want to be even dewier, the touch of dewy skinness is really nice. I don't I barely have any left, but I'll try to <laughs> not happening. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like this if you did. And please subscribe if you want to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.